This is Colton, gold medalist from last year. This is Caleb, not such a gold medalist from last year. <laughs> and uh, we're from Crumb, Texas. No snow, snowmobile, freestyle riders. Started off on snowmobiles by going quads first. We were sponsored by Pueris. We rode quads over the world, but there's no X Games for quads. And so we wanted to ride X Games, so we had Polaris send us a couple snowmobiles. 30 days. Got a little practice and came here and did what we do best, wing it. <laughs> I'd say the biggest challenge from quad to snowmobile is the competition that's out there. Like, we were able to switch over and learn everything that we knew pretty good, but the, the fact that there's no one on quads doing what we do, and there's a lot of guys on sleds doing more than what we, what we were doing. So it was, it was definitely a challenge to keep up with what was already going down. Plus you throw in the sub-zero temperatures when we're trying to practice. We've never quite hit that before, so yeah. it took us a little bit to get acclimated to the cold, but now we rock around in shorts quite a, quite a bit at the time. We're from Texas, we're not used to the snow. 2006 actually, when I first landed my first backflip on a quad. Built a foam pit so we could train and it worked out great for the sleds as well. Started using all the money from his flip shows to pay for foam to put in that thing. That's the only, that, the only way we ride sleds in Texas is in the foam pit. Sleds get really hot down there, so it's easier to just do one big trick and just work on a really hard big tricks in the foam pit in Texas, and then come up here and try to fine tune the, the smaller tricks. Yeah, racing cross country when I was like 12 years old, I broke both my femurs and my pelvis all at once. So that was probably the gnarliest wreck I've ever had. And I've had a pretty bad wreck in Costa Rica where I broke an ankle, sprained an ankle, and broke a wrist. And actually flew back to the USA with all of it still broken. I didn't get it fixed down there because I didn't trust anybody. So I just got on the plane, broken, and flew home. I've got, I've got a lot of wrecks too, but I've got one definite one that's worse. He's kind of just got a bunch. It's like, well, that, I'm not sure. This one or that one? Last year I had a broken pelvis and I broke my tailbone the day of practice because I was just so out of line. And so this year I'm coming in, I'm pretty healthy. I've got a few things that are a little bit sore, but I'm, I'm doing good. And so I'm hoping to put in a nice smooth run and just see if the judge is like smooth and, and clean. I think for me, it's just, I mean, this is our fourth year now. Coming year after year, you get a little bit more confident, a little less stressed out. So it helps to come here and, and be able to relax a little bit, you know, not just be like sweating, you know, the whole time you're here, like, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Like, it works a lot better to go out there and practice, just chill, like act like you're at the house, riding with your homies or whatever. So going out there, it's, you know, you're not putting so much pressure on yourself. In everyday life, everything's competitive. Everything's a race, everything's a competition. So it's, it's never ending with us. I'll give him props. Racing, he's got me, but any other sport, I can pretty much beat him in. <laughs>